Hi, I'm Simone Vega, teaching you simple recipes for real life. Remember, the most important ingredient is love. Hi, I'm Simone Vega from Cooking with His Grace. Today, I'm gonna do this Bahamian fish. This is delicious. One time, me and my husband, we went to Nassau, and usually when I go to a vacation, I like to just visit restaurants that locals go to eat, so you're gonna have the real experience. So when I tried this fish, it was so amazing and delicious. And I thought, well, let me try home. So, and you can try home, please. This is really, the, that's why I'm here. So try home. Anyhow, anyhow so let's start. Uh, you're gonna need like, uh, for four people, um, I use like mahi-mahi or corvina or um, any thick fish, okay? Don't use tilapia because it's too thin and we're gonna poach, so it's better like a thick fish and firm flesh. Okay, so let's start by um, seasoning the or uh, fish with some salt, salt and pepper. Okay, set aside. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, we, more or less, if you have like a, a big uh, red pepper like that, more or less one or, you know, two if it's small. So let's start by cutting like that. So remove all the seeds. So the best way with a, uh, with a knife, a little one, you just cut all the seeds off, okay? See how it come out very easy, so, you know. You don't need like anything else. So I gonna what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut in half. So see those the white the white part, remove that because it's too strong and is and bitter. So remove all the white part from your um, pepper, any pepper. Okay? So we're gonna remove here. And we're gonna start to chop. So I'm gonna cut like that in julienne, which means I'm slicing and, you know, not too thin, not too uh, thick. Because I don't want like very small pieces. I like, you know, to so you can see, because it's, very, it's a very colorful dish. So with this knife, I'm gonna just chop like that. Just be careful with your fingers. Okay, doesn't mean, you know, you don't look too super, super perfect, okay? Let me cut a little bit more. And if you like, if you like um, red pepper, so you can put more, okay? But here I'm using just one. Okay, so now we're gonna have an onion, the whole onion, so cut the both, both ends. So we're gonna do like that, so it's easy, see, to remove this part, which is have the skin and all that. So here we're gonna chop as well. So um, we don't need a very small, you know, uh, pieces because I we're gonna poach. So I want to, you know, to see the pieces, not too small. And I remember when I went to my husband to this uh, restaurant, it's so good. So fresh, everything, because Bahamas, you have a very fresh fish. 
So we are in Miami, we have fresh fish as well, but not like Bahamas. It's amazing, the water is very clean and oh, amazing, delicious. So this is a very um, traditional dish in Bahamas. And because of uh, the freshness of the fish and the freshness of the ingredients, uh, is a very fragrant dish as well. So here we have our onions. Oops. So here we have our onions here. And then we need more or less um, five, uh, you know, garlic cloves. So just remove this little part because I don't like to use this. Okay, and then we're gonna cut in pieces as well. Okay, uh, if, you, if your clove is too big, just use one, one per fish. Usually that's what I do, one per fish, okay? But here I'm using a little bit more because this is little one, so it's not that big, so I'm using five. Very, very fresh, very good. Yummy, yummy. We're gonna poach inside of a aluminum foil so you don't have to be crazy and get like rice paper. You know, it's hard to find. So my recipes is easy, affordable, and fast. So you don't have to get crazy. And this is super um, healthy as well. So here are garlic, okay. So now I gonna I have like fresh cilantro here. So we need like lots of cilantro. Cilantro is never, never enough because this is so fresh, so delicious, and mm, the smell. I love cilantro and basil. For me, it's the most fragrant herbs. Very fresh, you don't have to like chop too, you know, too small, just like that. So to do that, you'll put the point of your knife like that and then go in round movements like that, see? See, there's a way you can have like you can chop very well. Okay, done. So easy, right? This is very easy recipe. You're gonna be amazed. And this is something that you can impress anybody, really. Okay, so done. So we have here, let me just clean this out a little bit. Okay. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut, I peel the potatoes. You can use like plantains, uh, but it's not in everywhere that we can find plantains, so I prefer potatoes, okay? But the original dish, we use plantains. But I create to be, you know, more uh, easy uh, potatoes. So I think like maybe, you know, one inch each, uh, each slice, like that, okay? We're gonna use like two, three uh, slices per fish. So I think we have with just two potatoes. If you need more, we're gonna put more. So here, let me clean my board a little bit. So we're gonna work with our fish here. Okay, so now we're gonna do some pockets like that with our aluminum foil, very easy. Uh, also, if you have kids, you can have your kids helping you. This is a very nice family project, something that you can involve your kids, 
So that way you are cooking and creating bond with your kids, okay, with your children. So here we need a piece of aluminum foil. So we're gonna just do like that. Very easy. So the extremes you need to fold like that. And that's it. Super easy. See? Okay, here we go. We're gonna put our potatoes right on, on the bottom to sustain our fish, okay? Because the fish are gonna place right on top. So I don't know if you can see, it's um, right on top, okay? So here we're gonna put our fish here and then we're gonna put let me let me mix our ingredients how cute is that right I love that so we're gonna mix our red peppers garlic onion and cilantro okay that's it and we're gonna then a spoon, I'm gonna put on top. You're gonna be surprised how delicious. And the flavors is gonna be all over. And the, the potato is gonna be absorbing all the juices and the liquids and the flavors, it's amazing. Delicious. Okay, so here we have, um, we're gonna use a, a lime or lemon, whatever is better for you. Here I have my knife here. Yeah. But if you don't have like time that you are in a hurry and you cannot like find lime or lemon, you can use this one that you can find in a, you know, in the grocery part, and, you know, the, when you find like tomatoes, so you can have those. So this is a ready to go uh, lime juice. There's a lemon as well, so it doesn't matter. But I prefer use the fresh one, because always when you use fresh ingredients, you cannot go wrong with that, right? So, here we're gonna put a little bit of white wine. Uh, I don't, my suggestion is Sauvignon Blanc or Pinot Noir because the Chardonnay is too strong. Um, and I think the uh, Pinot Noir and Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc is more like soft, crispy, and better because we have the lemon or lime. So if you use like uh, um, acid, wine like Chardonnay is gonna be too much, okay? So a little bit splash of white wine and olive oil, a little bit. So cover everything and then we're gonna fold like that and you're gonna put in the oven. Let me have more my um, dish here. So here we have, okay, I'm gonna put our pockets full of fish and flavor. So here I have a ready to go. Again, we're gonna put potatoes here, our fish. If you want, you can put a little bit more salt, but I don't put too much. Just be careful with the salt. And then our mix of cilantro, tomato, I'm sorry, red peppers and onions and garlic here. Can you see it? How beautiful, 
How nice, how colorful, and mm -mm, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, so here we go with lemon. Okay. Lemon. A little bit of white wine. Here I'm using Pinot Grigio, okay? Or olive oil. Olive oil, about like half a tablespoon. So. And then you fold like that. And here. And then I'm gonna do just another one. Okay, so now we're gonna put this in the oven. Uh, preheat the oven like for. 100 degrees, because this is gonna be fast. Remember, the fish cooks very, very fast. So more or less, I said like 15, 20 minutes is ready to go, okay? So let's do that. Let me put in the oven here. And in 20 minutes, we are gonna have ready fish Bahamian style. Here are fish, ready to go, deliciously. Mm -mm. Very good. So, uh, because this is a traditional Bahamian dish, we're gonna serve with rice and pigeon peas. The pigeon peas you can like um, find in a section of supermarket. Uh, with the beans and canned beans, you're gonna find a pigeon piece, okay? So here I'm gonna mix my white rice with a pigeon piece, okay? So and that's it. Super good. And we're gonna serve with our fish. So let's see the fish. Mmm, this is amazing so like that so we're gonna open ah the aromas are so amazing we're gonna mm, look the colors how beautiful is that it's amazing so now we're gonna put a little bit of our rice and pigeon peas This is delicious. Let me grab a fork right here and a knife. Look how delicious is that. Flaky, fish, fresh, delicious. Full of flavor and our potatoes are amazing. Soak in all those juices and white wine, olive oil, and mmm, it's amazing. Bring. Delicious. This is amazing, really. Very good, very fresh, full of flavor. You, you're gonna be a winner when you do this dish. So, Keep following me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and if you have any questions, please uh, write me on cookingwithhisgrace.com and I'm gonna be more than glad to answer your questions. Thank you very much for following me and see you. Ciao, ciao.